I'm not supposed to be in it. But they used you, right? I'm in it. You're in it. Yeah, we came we came across the highway together. You and their event. That's right. But, but they must have planned that. They must have planned it. If you think this is far fetched, bear in mind that they permitted Hitler, a liberal socialist himself, who was financed by Krupp, Kennedy, the Warburgs, and the Rothschilds, to incinerate six hundred thousand Jews. Now, just why did the conspirators choose the word Illuminati for their satanic organization? Weishaupt himself said that the word is derived from Lucifer and means holders of the light. Using the lie that his objective was to bring about a one-world government to enable those with mental ability to govern the world and prevent all wars in the future. In short, using the word peace on earth as his bait, exactly as that same bait, peace, was used by the 1945 conspirators to foist the United Nations on us, Weishaupt, financed, I repeat, by the Rothschilds, recruited some 2,000 paid followers. These included the most intelligent men in the fields of arts and letters, education, the sciences, finance, and industry. He then established lodges of the Grand Orient, Masonic lodges, to be their secret headquarters. And I again repeat that in all of this, he was acting under orders from the House of Rothschild. The main features of the Weishaupt plan of operation required his Illuminati to do the following things to help them to accomplish their purpose. Number one, use monetary and sex bribery to obtain control of men already in high places in the various levels of all governments and other fields of endeavor. Once influential persons had fallen for the lies, deceits, and temptations of the Illuminati, they were to be held in bondage by application of political and other forms of blackmail, threats of financial ruin, public exposure and physical harm, even death, to themselves and loved members of their families. Do you realize how many present top officials in our government in Washington are controlled in just that way by the CFR? Number two, Illuminati and the faculties of colleges and universities were to cultivate students possessing exceptional mental ability, belonging to well-bred families with international leanings and recommend them for special training in internationalism. Such training was to be provided by granting scholarships to those selected by the Illuminists. That gives you an idea what a Rhodes Scholarship means. It means indoctrination into accepting the idea that only a one-world government can put an end to recurring wars and strife. That's how the United Nations was sold to the American people. One of the most notable Rhodes Scholars we have in our country, sometimes referred to as Half-Bright. His entire voting record spells Illuminati. All such scholars were to be first persuaded and then convinced that men of special talent and brains have the right to rule those less gifted on the ground that the masses don't know what is best for them physically, mentally, and spiritually. In addition to the Rhodes and similar scholarships, today there are three special Illuminati schools located in Gordonstown in Scotland, Salem in Germany, and Anavrita in Greece. These three are known ones, but there are others that are kept undercover. Prince Philip, 
the husband of Britain's Queen Elizabeth, was educated at Gordonstown at the instigation of Lord Louis Mountbatten, his uncle, a Rothschild relative who became Britain's admiral of the fleet after World War II ended. Number three, all influential people trapped into coming under the control of the Illuminati, plus the students who had been specially educated and trained, were to be used as agents and placed behind the scenes of all governments as experts and specialists so they would advise the top executives to adopt policies which would, in the long run, serve the secret plans of the Illuminati One World Conspiracy and bring about the destruction of the governments and religions they were elected or appointed to serve. Do you know how many such men operate in our government at this very time? Rusk. McNamara, Hubert Humphrey, Fulbright, Keekle, and go on and on and on. Number four, perhaps the most vital directive in Weishaupt's plan was to obtain absolute control of the press, at that time the only mass communications media, to distribute information to the public so that all news and information could be slanted so that the masses could be convinced that a one-world government is the only solution to our many and varied problems. Now do you know who owns and controls our mass communications media? I'll tell you, practically all the movie lots in Hollywood is owned by the layman's Boon Loeb and Company, Goldman Sachs, and other internationalist bankers. All the national radio and TV channels in the nation are owned and controlled by those same internationalist bankers. The same is true of every chain of metropolitan newspapers and magazines. Also of the press wire services, such as Associated Press, United Press International, etc. The supposed heads of all those media are merely the fronts for the internationalist bankers who in turn compose the hierarchy of the CFR, today's Illuminati in America. Now can you understand why the Pentagon's press agent Sylvester so brazenly proclaimed that the government has the right to lie to the people? It's too big for me, man. It's a big thing. Man, you know, this is, this is a world thing happening. I, I, I'm a small man. I'm not supposed to be involved in this. This is for other people, people who have money and all this kind of stuff.